Hello, welcome to Journal of a Medical Intuitive. I'm your host, Dr. Vess, Medical Intuitive, and this is Episode 9, The Long-Term Global Impact of the Coronavirus. I've been holding on to this transmission for a while. I got this transmission on May 22nd, and I wasn't sure if I should upload it because it just seemed so extreme, but we're living in extreme times, and so I decided to go ahead and post it even though um, it is extreme. So, as some of you know who've been following my podcast, the information that I have been sharing is from my guides. Uh, I get transmissions once every uh, couple of weeks and about the coronavirus. And this week I'm going to be talking about the global impact of the coronavirus, uh, some of the repercussions. So in this most recent transmission, they spoke to me about the long-term global ramifications of the coronavirus. And the information I received this time was less about the disease itself and more about the effect this pandemic is having on the planet. I was told that the coronavirus is like an atomic bomb. Once an atomic bomb goes off, you can't reverse its effects. The effects of an atomic bomb are long term, and such is also the case with the coronavirus. The effects are spreading every day, and they are irreversible. And these effects, the effects of this pandemic are many and include the toppling of many structures, according to my guides. They spoke to me about the governmental structures tumbling, many structures tumbling, and they said it was like dominoes, that once you knock the first one down, all of the other dominoes touching that domino are also doomed. Many things have been set into motion because of this virus. The virus is destroying many structures worldwide, including organizational structures, cultural structures, family structures, ethnic structures, corporate structures, etc. And everything the guides told me they put in the present tense, and so they didn't give me a timeline of this is going to happen. They just said it's all happening right now. Uh, So they talked about physical structures also beginning to fall as a result of certain environmental changes. And... They spoke in particular about the oil industry due to changes in the oil market having to do with the decline in demand uh, due to the worldwide quarantine. The oil industry is collapsing. And this collapse is not merely economic, but is physical. Uh, Something's happening to the oil structures, the oil wells, the oil infrastructure, And this destruction is being facilitated by the oil barons themselves. So they're engaged in some type of self-sabotage for self-protection. And so they're destroying oil or destroying oil rigs for some economic gain. And they don't realize how their actions are impacting the planet. And according to my guides, the destruction of oil is impacting the planet negatively in large and important ways. Now, when I got this information, it didn't really make sense to me, and so I started to do a little um, research, and I found out that indeed, because of the loss of demand in the oil market, because people weren't driving for a couple of months, uh, there are a lot of oil producers who are now not only not making money, but they're losing money to pay to store the oil. And so they're actually paying money to store oil. So when I read that, I felt like, well, that would support what my guide said, that they would be destroying oil at this time. So maybe they've decided that destroying oil is less costly than storing it. Um, So they said that certain choices are being made in response to the decline in oil consumption, and these choices are harming the earth. These decisions are also harming currency worldwide, money, and Bitcoin are being negatively impacted by the choices that the oil industry owners are making in response to the pandemic and the decline in demand. 
Uh, one of the places where this impact will be seen is India. India will become an important epicenter for these global changes. And they said this was in part because of India's spiritual heritage and in part because of their relationship to the oil industry. Now changes are also occurring to the axis of the Earth. Changes in the Earth's axis are irreversible and will have big impacts on other aspects of life on Earth. Certain continents and countries will be affected more than others and this has to do with their location and the angle vis-a-vis -vis the Earth's axis. I don't really understand this part of it, but um, probably there are other people who, who can understand this and maybe explain it. So they said Brazil, India, and Samoa will be affected more than other places, and also that Antarctica and the pole associated with Antarctica, which I believe is the South Pole, will be more impacted. That both, I think they said both poles would be impacted, but the south would be more impacted. So these human changes to the oil industry will cause earth changes, which will then result in an interference with human technologies, uh, 5G being one of them. So I specifically asked about 5G because some people were saying that they thought the coronavirus was somehow linked to 5G technology. And so I asked my guys, do we need to be concerned about 5G technology? And when I asked that, they said no, because it's getting knocked out by these other changes. Um, so they said we don't have to worry about 5G because what was planned for that technology will now not happen because of the coronavirus. So it's not going to develop as planned. All of those plans are interrupted by what's happening with the pandemic and the fallout from the pandemic. Uh, they said there's also going to be changes to the oceans. So um, this is because of the change in the Earth's axis. The tides are changing and the currents in the seas are changing. And then this will affect shipping. So the currents in the seas affect the shipping lanes and then these are going to change when the Earth's axis changes. And as a result, this will affect trade routes. So the shipping lanes or shipping routes will change and then that will change the balance of power between continents as tr trade will be impacted by the changing sea lanes. So a lot of change, a lot of dramatic change that's coming as a result of the pandemic. Um, these are like repercussions. One thing that keep, that influences another, influences another, influences another, like the dominoes. So when I asked what can we do I got the answer, pray. And so I asked, pray, as in a religious sense? And no, they said, the religions are being destroyed as well. So along with all of this other collapsing and destruction, um, we have also the dest destruction of, of religion. So along with the structures, the economic and physical structures, we have religious structures being destroyed. And in particular, the authority structures that currently control the religious institutions will be destroyed. So like the imams, the priests, the hierarchies are being destroyed. And they said something really dramatic about the Catholic Church. They said that the Catholic Church will actually go into hiding in order to preserve their knowledge. You know, they're going to hide their relics and try to preserve their hierarchical structure by going underground the same way the Mayans went underground uh, when the Spanish started destroying all of their structures. Um, they said the Catholic Church is going to have to go underground. And so they said that the prayer that they're speaking of is mass prayer. 
a movement of mass prayer that has no leaders. And so just the way, in the same way that we currently have a lot of mass movements of meditation happening, we're going to have mass movements of prayer by people with a common vision, but no, no leaders. Well, that's it for this transmission. And um, this is Dr. Jennifer Lisa Vest. I've been your host. This is Journal of a Medical Intuitive. Thank you for listening.